And we have breaking news on Capitol Hill concerning the House Speaker race. Let's bring in NBC's Ali Vitali and MSNBC political analyst Brendan Buck, former senior advisor to both Boehner and Ryan. So, Ali, what's the latest? Still no consensus on what vote or if we'll see a vote today, Jose, but our understanding from what just happened behind closed doors in yet another House Republican conference huddle, the current speaker designee, Jim Jordan, when I spoke to him this morning, said he wanted to talk to his conference first. That's what he did. Right now, here's the plan. Jordan is not dropping out of the speaker's race. That's according to what several sources have told me and my colleague, Julie Serkin. Instead, he went into the room today, told his colleagues that he would back empowering the speaker pro tem, Patrick McHenry, until January, at some time in early January. During that interim time, the House would be able to proceed on normal business because the pro tem speaker would be empowered, but Jordan himself would remain the speaker designate and would continue to try to whip votes and get in line for an actual speaker's bid sometime in January. This, so this sort of solves the problem of trying to let the steam out of the pot on the frustration front and letting the House function, but it doesn't necessarily help Jim Jordan's numbers problems. They're hoping that more time and more cajoling and conversations with colleagues could get them to a more positive place in terms of achieving the 217 number number that they've been going for for three or four days now. Unclear that that's a strategy that will work, but it seems like that's their operating strategy right now. In terms of what we're actually going to see around noon when we expect the floor to open later today, it's not clear that we're going to see them vote on another balloting round for speaker. We're not clear on if they're going to vote on the resolution to empower the speaker pro tem. That may have numbers problems as well. But our understanding right now, and this has always been the case, is that Democrats are now sort of entering the chat and starting to figure out how many numbers they can supply on their side to empower the speaker pro tem. Again, all in the name of just trying to get this place working again, even on a temporary basis.